I'm PJ Steven, that's Dennis Parker, and we're here to, of course, to review the album Dystopia by Megadeth. I uh, dropped in 2016. We're very excited to go ahead and bring you guys this album right here. That is uh, their Megadeth's latest album. Really nice stuff. Uh, I want to start on actually the personnel that helped out with this record. Uh, the artwork, actually, you just saw uh, was from a guy named Brent Elliott White, who worked with Trivium and Death Angel. On their yeah. records. He has a lot of Trivium credits, too. He even oh, has a, a, oh, Lama, yeah. a couple Lamb of God things, too, he's done. So he's well-versed in artwork for the metal community. But I think it looks really good. Again, yeah. the name of the album is Dystopia. Uh, basically, just to probably about, uh, you know, post-America after the war, it looks like. Yeah. Which you see Vic Rattlehead on there with the uh, holding the Statue of Liberty's head, which is metal. Uh, to the personnel on this album, of course, Dave Mustaine and David Elson are uh, come back for another record after Super Collider, which was uh, a bomb. Super Collider was terrible. Terrible. It was awful. almost, yeah, almost, yeah, awful. Yeah. Um, it made me not want to listen to Megadeth for at least. I had to listen uh, to this record for a long time. Yeah, just after, to cleanse yeah. your soul. Exactly. Of the, the fucking shit mess <laughs> that was that was Super Collider. Uh, moving right along, uh, they got Chris Adler, the drummer from Lamb of God, right, uh, to drum for them, and a, a new guitarist here uh, to the states, uh, Kiko Lu Luriero. Luriero. Who, yeah, Luriero, yeah, who uh, right. worked for a band called Angler from uh, the, from Brazil. Yeah. Uh, really good stuff. He did man. good work. He can kill it. Uh, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna get this uh, this review to you track by track. Let us know what's your what's our favorite tracks. And we want to hear from you. Have you ever heard this record? What did you think about it? Uh, and at the very end, of course, we're gonna give you our pictogram rating, like we do every time. Yes. Going right down the list, folks. We're gonna give you um, the threat is real. Great opening. That's yeah. what's playing right now. The threat is real. Uh, I, I like it. I really dig it. I think it. Yeah. I think it kills it. Yeah, it's a good song. Um, um, Solid. Yeah, yeah, really good stuff. Going right next to it, the title track, Dystopia. Uh, I dig that as well. Uh, it's still really fast moving. Uh, actually, this whole side A is really awesome. I think the first half of the album is a lot better than, than the, the second half. The second and half. we're going to get to that in a minute here. Uh, Fatal Illusion was the first single off the record. Uh, that was what first came out, their first EP. Um, was that the one that you sent me? Uh, like, uh, didn't you tell me about there was a first song coming out? And I was just yeah. like... Yeah, 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 and I listened to it. I was like, yeah, it starts out okay, and then and then it picks up at the end. Yeah, yeah man, it, that, I love that one too, man. I, uh, face warning is good. Uh, the one thing I will say about this record that I'm not a, a totally huge fan of: every single song is political. I'm not a right. big fan of that. Um, but I mean, it's still a killer record. Yeah. Uh, it, it dropped uh, January two, uh, January twenty second, two thousand sixteen. And it took about a year to record. It, it recorded in 2015. Yeah, yeah. Um, there, there was actually a lot of stuff going on uh, before that. Uh, David Ellison lost his brother-in-law. Oh, uh, to cancer, uh, No, yeah. his brother to cancer. And then um, Dame Sane's mother, mother died of Alzheimer's. Well, she, yeah. yeah, she was like, she had Alzheimer's and she wandered out into the woods somewhere and they could never That's find her. That's right, there was a big manhunt. Yeah, for yeah, there was a big manhunt. So, and then Sean Drover and Chris Broderick quit. Yeah, oh yeah, that's right. right so there's and, a lot of shit and, going and on. And they started in uh, Act of Defiance. Yeah. Uh, so moving right along, keep that in mind when you're talking about these awesome tracks. We're talking about awesome tracks. The last two uh, uh, songs on side A, Death from, uh, Death from Within and Bullet to the Brain. Two really solid songs. If I could just uh, go back right, right quick to Fatal Illusion, there's a bass solo in the middle of that that David Ellison just kills. Yeah. Really good stuff. Uh, when you go to side B, it's when it starts getting a little eh. Um, yeah, it's, it's not bad, but it's definitely not, it doesn't hit you as hard yeah. as the first few tracks do. Post American War uh, is the first song off side B. It's kind of a weak song, but it's got a killer solo. I give yeah. you guys that. Uh, Poison of Shadows is all right. Uh, same thing. I put kind of Poison of Shadows, Conquer or Die, Lying in State, all kind of the same. It, it it's good. It's just not as great as Side A. I think they blew their load on Side A. Yeah. Uh, Emperor, uh, the Emperor is all right. Just it, it's just all about con the government controlling you. That's basically everything that these songs are about. Just yeah. About. I mean, it's kind of a classic metal theme anyway. Yeah. You know, like yeah. hook and mouth, you know. Yeah, that that, that 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 was all about just kind of government censorship and all that. However, the album does end with foreign policy, which I love that song. Yeah. I think that ends on a really good note, uh, which is great. Uh, so foreign policy, really good stuff on side B. But my favorite track on the album, I have to say, is either I think it's the title track, Dystopia. Yeah, um, I think so too. For me, yeah, yeah. My that's my favorite song off the record, most definitely. Uh, and now, uh, guys, I think it's time to give them the uh, pentagram rating. The pentagram. Okay. Well, what, what do you what are you thinking, man? 
I say three pentagrams. That's what I'm thinking too. I'm gonna to say three, three pentagrams, pentagrams for Dystopia by Negative. Out of yeah, five. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna do three out of five. So yeah. So right now, uh, three pentagrams for uh, Megadeth. <laughs> yeah. So um, thank you guys so much for uh, watching this review. I hope you guys. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, yeah. Definitely check out the record because it is a good record. Yeah. Anything yeah. under two stars, we don't care about, so yeah, don't check it right. out. Right, but this uh, this was actually for Kevin. He was the one who. Uh, he yeah, wanted... Kevin Coates, that's for you, buddy. Yeah, man. Uh, he, wanted some, uh, he wanted some Megadeth co coverage, and uh, it took You're us a little while, it, but we got it to you, man. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, we appreciate you guys. Appreciate you guys so much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, don't forget to describe or uh, comment down there what other albums that you want us to um, uh, to, to, to review. review. Yeah. Because we'll, I mean, we'll review any album. Yeah. Uh, no matter how much you think it sucks. We'll review Saint Anger for you. We'll review Risk you really, for you. You really want to do Saint, review Saint Anger? I'll review Saint Anger. I would we'll do that. Well, we'll do that. Yeah. If you want to go down that. Would you we'll review Virtual Eleven with me? Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. Fuck it. You want to do it? You just want to be like the angry video game nerd of, of heavy metal, and we can just review just nothing but shitty albums. Well, that's good. I got a whole record collection right there that we could do that with. They're not all shitty. No, they're not all shit, but there's some shit in there. There is some shit, so I don't know. We'll, we'll just keep it. Well, up. let's just like, we we'll, can, we'll keep it in the back burner. We'll think we'll about keep it. Keep it on the back burner. Well, guys, thank you so much again. This has been Megadeth Dystopia. I'm PJ Steve, and that's Dennis Parker. And join us next week, guys. Thank you very much.